everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over my fall sewing plans. Um, I have a list of 16 items here that I want to make. <laughs> but there's technically only 8 weeks in fall and it doesn't even feel like fall. It kind of feels like winter right now because it's been like wet and rainy and overcast and cold. The weather has not been very fun this last week. So I have a couple of dresses that I want to make but if the weather keeps the way it's going, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, not to mention, I'm a pretty slow sewer. <laughs> so, but um, I hope you guys like find some like um, inspiration and maybe something that you would uh, like to make as well. So I'm going to get started. Um, the first one I have is McCall's 7623. And I'm going to be making version B. Uh, it's this pink dress right here. And I think it's focused. And it just looks like a regular um, shirt dress with like a collar and a waistband. Um, it's a little bit more advanced than a lot of the dresses that I've been making, but I'm hopeful that I can pull <laughs> I can pull this off because I've noticed that um, my skills have been improving over the last year. So fingers crossed that I can actually make this and wear it. <laughs> um, and I want to make that out of this um, crepe de chine that I picked up from Fabric.com. It's black background with yellow beads on it. And I just think this would be so cute to wear with like black tights and black booties. Um, maybe like a little like black beanie or beret. I think that would be super cute. Okay, um, moving on. Next is, I'm sure you guys have seen this <laughs> dress. Uh, it's really popular in the sewing community. It's the Vogue 8896 wrap dress. I'm going to be doing version A, which is the short version right here. And I'm going to be making that with this gorgeous purple velvet fabric that I picked up in uh, Washington when I went there for training. Uh, I know it looks black probably on camera, but I promise it's purple. It's like this gorgeous, like, um, just deep <laughs> purple. I don't really know how else to explain it. Um, but yeah, I love this. I hope I can make that dress out of this because the dress calls for... 60 inch wide fabric and I think that's for the skirt So this one is I think like 45 or 50 inches and I'm hoping fingers crossed that I can like um, Cut it on a single layer instead of like double and it may fit um, Because I already have like an idea of what shoes and bag <laughs> that I want to wear um, with this dress so I hope I hope that works Okay, um, next is a PDF pattern, so I'll put a picture um, here of what it is. It's the Sew This Pattern Sienna um, Shift Dress, and I saw this on the fold line when they do, um, when Kate does her monthly like pattern releases, and I forget which month this was, but it's super cute, and I thought, oh my gosh, I want to make that out of like a mustard colored fabric for Thanksgiving, so this is what I picked up. Um, it's kind of it's woven. I'm not really sure if you would classify it as linen. I picked it up from Hobby Lobby Sorry guys my phone Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to be rude so I work with a bunch of men and They're all talking about their fantasy teams right now And so I'm stuck in this group chat that I can't get out of and it's driving me crazy because I'm like I don't care about your fantasy teams <laughs> but I digress, this video is not about that, um, so yeah, I turned my phone off, so I'm going to throw it over there so I won't get interrupted. Alright, so anyways, back to the fabric, um, it's like a mustard colored, um, I think it's like a little bit linen, not as rough, so I think it might be blended with something, but I bought this at Hobby Lobby for $4.99 a yard, and then I have their 40% off coupon, so I got four yard, three yards of fabric for like 10 bucks. I think maybe a little bit less. So I'm really excited. Like, I was like, heck yeah. I love that Hobby Lobby always has a coupon that you can use. Um, okay, next, I want to make the Sew Over It Ultimate Trousers. Um, these were on my 2018 Make 9. 2018 is coming to a close, and I haven't even made half of those things yet. So, um, I don't know. I feel like this would be a good time to make these pants. And... 
I do want to make them um, with a waistband because I've seen a couple of reviews where they sit really low on your waist and I just prefer, prefer like a higher waist or something with a waistband um, just for, you know, comfort reasons. So I'm going to try that out. So how many times can I say so in a sentence? All right. So anyways, there we go again. <laughs> I want to, uh-oh. Okay, well, I got some glitter on this fabric, and I don't know where that glitter came from. It's a crafty life, right? We have glitter everywhere. So I want to make it out of this um, black stretch cotton, just a basic black that I picked up from Sew Over It when I bought this pattern at the beginning of this year, I think. And then with that, I want to make the Seamark Astoria Um, like crop sweater and I think that will look so cute with this polka dot ponty knit that I picked up from Joanne. So how cute would that be to wear like this with like a pair of like high-waisted ultimate trousers with some black flats. Um, I feel like this is something modern day Audrey Hepburn would wear. <laughs> so yes. Alright, next is the Grainline Studio duffel coat and this was a resolution I wanted to make myself a coat this year and I want to do version A which is the shorter version this one but I instead of putting the collar on it I want to put the hood because I'm going to need that so it gets really cold but I don't know the collar version just looks so chic hmm. we'll have to see so I want to make that um, with this fabric that I picked up from mood.com when they were having their, I think it was their Mother's Day sale when everything was um, like 20% off. And please excuse the dog here if you can see it, but it's this big check <laughs> uh, plaid fabric. And I want to line it with this lining that I picked up from Vogue Fabrics. Um, so how cool would that be to like have this on the outside and like this hot pink fuchsia collar for the lining. Just to add some brightness to the dark Nebraska winter. Well, fall slash winter. <laughs> so I have a feeling that this would probably take me a while to make because I'm going to want to take my time. I'm not going to want to rush. So I may like break it up. Um, actually, I may do their sew along because they make really great sew alongs and so like I guess kind of do like one or two steps at a time and then take a break from it and like do something like a dress and then go back to it just because I don't want to feel rushed because one, this is a very advanced pattern <laughs> and two, that's expensive fabric. So I've noticed that like when I rush, I kind of make silly mistakes or like if I'm hungry and I just want to like get the garment made, I start making silly mistakes because I'm like hungry and I can't focus. But um, anyways, yeah, so I'm actually really excited about this and I hope this turns out the way that I want it to. <sighs> I'm really nervous to make this, but hey, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you, right? All right, next um, is the Little Red Dress Project. And I have a pattern picked out, um, but I don't want to show it to you guys because I want to like keep it a surprise. And I just bought the fabric. I used my store points like my rewards points for mood to buy that fabric so that was really nice so um it's gonna be really pretty at least i hope it's gonna be really pretty so there's that one um and if you know what the little red dress project is um it's a it's kind of like a challenge that gets all the sewing community together where we make a red dress for the holiday season and it's hosted by renata um she used to be running in style but now she's a twilight stitcher and I'll put the link um, to her video. I think she already announced it um, in the description box below. And if I'm remembering correctly, Rosa from Sewn is also, um, I guess, like co-hosting it with her. So she did that last year, and I think they're doing it again this year. So, and then I'll put a link to my dress that I made last year as well if you're interested. Okay, uh, moving on. Next is, this is also um, on my Make 9 for this year, and that was the Fairfield Button-Up from Thread Theory. And these were actually supposed to be shirts for my husband last year for Christmas. And I know it's kind of crazy to think that I'm like already talking about Christmas sewing. <laughs> we haven't had Halloween yet, but I need to start it now or else it's never going to get done. So please bear with me. Um, if you're one of those people that are like, oh my gosh, we haven't had Halloween or Thanksgiving. I know, but like I said, I'm slow and 
I need to start now or else it's gonna be like last year where I planned to make him these shirts for Christmas and they never got done. So anyways, all right, so the button up long sleeve shirt is what I wanna make him. And these are the fabrics that I had last year um, that I picked up from Joanne during their Black Friday sale. And um, again, excuse the dog hair. <laughs> It's this flannel fabric. Um, so when we moved here, he was really excited that he could start wearing flannel shirts again because in Texas, he could only wear them maybe like two weeks out of the whole entire year because, you know, it's hot in Texas. There's only two seasons, summer and summer light. <laughs> so he was really happy that he could wear flannel here. So I bought um, this one as well as this black and white one. So, um, this is going to be challenging for me too. A lot of challenging projects this season. So, because one, it's a button-up, and um, I have made one button-up shirt, which is the Kelly shirt or shirt dress from Closet Case Patterns. So, yeah. But now I'm going to have to do some pattern matching with the plaid. So, this is going to be an experiment, and I hope they come out nice. All right, next um, is the Sew My Style for September. And that was supposed to be revealed um, today, the day I'm filming this. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm totally behind again. <laughs> and um, yeah, I feel bad, but it's life, right? So I wanna make the, um, it's the fringe dress. I'm gonna make it out of this teal cotton lawn um, that I picked up from Style Maker Fabrics. It's, it's really nice. It's um like, I already washed it, so it's a little bit wrinkly. But it's pretty lightweight, so I don't know if it's gonna get much wear. Now I may have to wait till it warms up, or if we have like a random hot day. Okay, um, next is a, my mom and my sister's uh, Christmas gifts, but I'm not gonna say what those are in case they're watching this film, or this film, this video. <laughs> uh, let's see, all right, so, I guess the sew my styles for October, November, and December. Those are on my list. I know, you guys, I say this every season and I never make them in time. <laughs> but they're on here. Um, so October's is like a tote bag. Um, November hasn't been released yet. And December is the Axe Skirt from Megan Nielsen. And I don't have any fabric for that yet because that's not till December. Um, okay, so yeah, so those one, two, three, four, so my styles, and that makes it the end of the year and the end of this challenge. I should probably have <laughs> some of the other ones too. Oh, I feel like I'm so bad at this. Okay, um, next is the Vogue 8926. And if you guys have watched my channel for how long I've been posting videos, I can think a year now, and if you see my fall plans, um, I think you'll recognize these last two items. So, yes, Vogue 8926, and I want to do version A. This one right here. And I want to make that out of this camel wool fabric that I picked up from Mood last year, or maybe two years ago. And I think this will look super chic with like a black turtleneck and maybe the black so over at trousers. Yeah. You know, this fabric selection isn't as colorful as my summer <laughs> one. A lot of like dark neutral colors. Okay, and then the last um, two is in the call 6955, and I wanna do version A, which is like a racer back skater dress. And unless the weather improves, these may not get made. This is kind of one of those, like, mm, I'm not in a rush to make them just because I'm not sure if I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them. But then I feel like maybe I should make these in the beginning, like it's the first couple projects. So if it does get warmer, I have a few wears. I don't know. I'm still trying to, like, adapt and get used to this Midwest winter. I've never lived anywhere like this before, so I don't know what to expect. And I still don't entirely know how to dress for it. Um, okay, what was I saying? Oh, 6955, and I want to make it out of this plaid fabric and that I picked up from Joanne and this one as well. I don't think you would call this plaid. We call this like a windowpane. 
pattern. So it's navy with um, like white. And yeah, that's all I have. That's 16 items. Um, and you know what I just realized? I never share with you guys what I make. So I should probably start doing monthly makes videos. Do you guys like to see that? Because those are some of my favorites to watch. I need to be more organized. Alright. Well, anyways, that's 16 items. Um, a bunch of them are probably going to go into winter, if I'm being honest. I already know the duffel coat is going to be one of those. Because I want to take my time with it. And if you guys have sewn this pattern before. So I love grain line patterns. So I have high hopes for this. So definitely let me know um, how your results came out and what you thought of this pattern. And then also leave me a comment letting me know what you plan on making for fall. And I'll be seeing you guys hopefully soon. Bye.